The Middle East is going through major changes. Former rivals are now reconciling and new alliances are being formed. As part of this shift, Saudi Arabia is reportedly hosting a senior Hamas delegation on Sunday. Relations between the two have been tense since the collapse of a deal brokered by Riyadh more than 15 years ago meant to end the internal Palestinian division between Fatah and Hamas. The Saudis blaming Hamas for that collapse. The political leadership of the terror organization is now hoping to mend ties with Saudi Arabia. This comes just today. After the Saudis hosted a meeting calling for a political solution to the Syrian conflict, a solution which could lead to Syria's return to the Arab League. The meeting and the decision applauded by Hamas, just as its leaders are about to make their own visit. But why is this happening now, and why is China suddenly involved in Middle Eastern politics? For example, the agreement reached two weeks ago between Saudi Arabia and Iran. It probably has to do with decisions taken far away from the Middle East. What we're witnessing now is the natural dynamics of Middle East that no longer has an American military presence in heavy form in Iraq, uh, Afghanistan, of course, uh, a bit further to the east, but as well as in Syria. The American presence had a very strong influence on the Abraham Accords between Israel and Gulf and Muslim states, and the hope was they would also lead to an eventual normalization of ties between Saudi Arabia and Israel. The high profile given to the agreement between the Saudis and Iran, along with the arrival of Hamas officials to the kingdom, indicate it may not be happening anytime soon. This is a natural consequence where diplomatic arrangements are starting to rise to the top of the discussion now that the heavy American military presence is no longer in the region. It is indeed a new Middle East, but probably not the one Israel was hoping to see.